Welcome to XSS tutorial number 3, Persistent Scripts. In this video we'll be looking at what persistent scripts are and what happens when our scripts are permanently on a website. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. As you can probably guess by now, a persistent script is one that persists on a website. Usually this is by having the malicious code stored in the website's database. Having your code permanently on the target website would be your ultimate goal when working with cross-site scripting. I feel like it's worth talking about now that you can store your code at another web location. This is good for input fields where the number of characters is limited. The script tag allows you to link to a JavaScript file using the source attribute. Alright, finding inject locations. Finding inject locations is something that you pick up over time and when you start to understand more about web backend. So try to think about if the website will ever have to put your text that you entered back out onto the screen. Chances are that the text will be stored in a database or perhaps less likely a file. So think about things like comments, submission forms, contact forms, posts, uploads, etc. Just imagine if you were conducting a pen test and you managed to inject a script into a ticket system that didn't sanitize input. You may have a cookie stealer that gets you the session key for the employee or admin account that checks the ticket. Alright, so let's give it a shot. This will be very similar to the previous tutorial, except our script will get stored in the database. We'll try our normal alert XS, and then we'll try a redirect attack. The new index.php file will be available in the slides and files folder. Alright, so let's come over to the web browser, where I've got my tutorial 3. And we've got a leave a comment box, so try my new comment website. So we can leave a comment, we can submit the comment, and at the moment it has no comments. And we got a little debug button down here to clear the table if we want to start over again. So let's leave a simple comment like, wow, this is a cool website. And we hit comment. And you'll notice that you now get a comment down the bottom. And we can, uh, if we go to the website again, we can see that the comment still persists. Okay, let's try our simple alert. So we're going to put in the script tag and we'll do alert xss and we'll close off the script tag and we'll put it at the start, we'll put in like a cool site and when we hit comment you'll notice we get the pop-up saying xss and we hit OK and you see we've got only the cool site shows up the code that should be here is invisible to the user. Alright, cool. So we've got a comment and we've got a second comment that has cool site. Let's try leaving a third comment. This time we'll do a redirect. So we'll go, uh, your site has a problem. And then we'll put in our script tag. And You'll know in JavaScript we can use the window.location variable to redirect the current page that we're on. So we go window.location equals and in, in quotes, so I'm going to use single quotes here, we type in our web location we want to redirect the person to. So let's do https forward slash forward slash and we'll do uh, www.google.com and how about we send them to a search so search uh, question mark q equals so you know this is the search query for Google and we can type in what we want it to search for them so we'll do what plus is plus xss and then we'll close off our quotes Alright, so that's our redirect done. Let's close our script tag so we don't break the website. Close off our script tag and we can hit comment. And you'll notice we get the pop-up as the JavaScript is executed from top down in the code. So you can see that it's only loaded the first two and we've already got our JavaScript pop-up. And if we hit OK, we get the redirect. And it redirects us to Google search. And we've got the what is XSS. And you'll notice that the, the top few are like some pretty popular cross-site scripting websites. Cool. So the only way to fix this is to go back and this will take us back to the previous state. As you can see, we haven't actually entered in the script yet, but it is still there. 
So if we were to uh, get rid of our index.php and hit go at the top, you'll notice that we get the XSS pop-up and we get the redirect happens. Cool, so we want to go back and we're going to hit the clear table button. And this is the only way we can uh, get rid of uh, the code that we entered. Cool, so you can have a muck around with this and it'll store all of the uh, commands that you put in into the database. Cool. Uh, yeah, so let's move on. Now let's quickly talk about responsible disclosure. Some companies allow you to pen test their website slash applications, providing you follow the terms they provide. Usually this is through responsible disclosure. Responsible disclosure is a computer security term describing a vulnerability disclosure model. All people and companies involved agree to allow a period of time for the vulnerability to be patched before publicly uh, publishing it. Some companies provide what's called bug bounties, in which they reward you for your responsible disclosure of a bug, exploit or vulnerability. Cool. The next thing we'll be looking at is making our attacks more useful with some malicious attacks. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.